So we're going to review solving linear equations. And remember, equations are linear if our variable is to the first power. And the first power is generally not written. So of course, here we have x, and it's to the first power since there, our power is not written there. All right, so with that in mind, let's solve this first equation. And let's remember, we want to get x by itself. Now, the first thing we always deal with is something that is out to the side of x, something that's been added or subtracted from x. So we're going to deal with this plus 6 first. To get rid of a plus 6, we're going to subtract a 6. And whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So here, I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides of the equation. So I'll subtract 6 on the left but I also have to do it to the right. So what happens is on the left, my sixes cancel out and I have just two X left. On the right, 14 minus six will give me eight. Now, anything that's sitting in front of X is being multiplied by X. So we've got a two times X right there. To get rid of it, we're gonna divide. So I'm gonna divide two X by the 2 to get rid of it. And the same thing on the right side, I'll divide by 2. And since I'm using Word, it makes it just a little bit awkward to try to divide. But here we're dividing on both sides. All right, so I get x on the left. My 2's cancel out. And 8 divided by 2 gives me an answer of 4. Now let's realize we can check every equation by plugging that 4 back in for x. And when we work that left side out, it should be equal to the 14 that we have on the right side. And let's notice 2 times 4 is 8, plus 6 is 14. This checks. All right, so let's do another one just like it. So our next one, 3x minus 9 equals 18. The thing that's out to the side is the minus 9, and we want to add 9 because that's the opposite of 9. So if we add 9 on the left, the 9s will cancel out. We'll get just 3x. 18 plus 9 on the right is 27. And now we need to get rid of the 3 that is being multiplied by our x. So we're going to divide it out on both sides. So dividing by 3 on both sides. On the left, I get just plain old x. On the right, 27 divided by 3 gives me 9. All right, now let's look at the next one. We have parentheses, and any time we have numbers against parentheses, it means multiplication, and we have to multiply both of the items in the parentheses by that number. So here, we will have 3 times x is 3x, and then 3 times 4 is 12. And now notice our problem is like those that we just did. Let's get rid of the 12 that's written to the side first by subtracting 12. And for some reason, where it is being bizarre, but that is supposed to be on the left. All right, so if, gosh darn it, if I subtract 12 on the left, the 3x is the only thing left, and 24 minus 12 on the right will be 12. And now to get rid of the 3 in front of our x, let's divide it out. And we get x on the left, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now I'm going to change up this next problem just a little bit so that we kind of tackle a problem that people tend to make. All right, so this time there's a negative 6 in front of the parentheses. And a mistake a lot of people make when distributing that negative 6 is forgetting to distribute the negative sign to that minus 2 right there. So let's go ahead and distribute the minus 6. We'll have minus 6x, and then it's minus 6 times negative 2, which is a positive 12. And now let's continue solving. Let's subtract the 12 to get rid of it on the left side. 
And of course, we have to also do that to the right side. And that's going to give me a negative 6. Don't forget your negative when you bring it down. Oops. And 36 minus 12 is going to be 24. Last step, let's divide out. on both sides. Well, it does not want to let me leave out that equal sign. That's all right. We know what it's supposed to be. So I'll have negative 6 and divide by negative 6. So on the left, I get x, but 24 divided by negative 6 is negative 4. So pay attention to those signs. All right, now let's look at these last two. This time we have x's on both sides of the equation. So the first thing we want to do is get them together on one side. Now, um, I like to keep my x's positive, so I'm going to move the thing that is the smallest so that I keep my x's the positive. The 4x is smaller than the 8x, so I'm going to move the 4x. To do that, I'll subtract 4x over here on the right. But of course, what I do to one side, I've got to do to the other side of the equation. So I've got to subtract it on both sides. When I do that, 8x minus 4x is 4x. I still have that plus 4. And on the right side, my 4x's will cancel out, but I still have that negative 6. All right, now let's notice, though, it looks like the equations we've been solving all along. So let's continue solving. So we want to get rid of the 4 that's being added out to the side. So let's subtract 4. Do it on both sides. So we get 4x, our 4s cancel, and negative 6 and negative 4 add to negative 10. Watch those signs. Use your calculator if you need to. All right, now let's divide out our 4 that's still with our x. And we end up this time with a fraction for our answer. And we need to reduce our fraction. 2 goes into the top negative 5 times, and 2 goes into the bottom two times. And in algebra, it's perfectly okay to leave this in improper fraction form. In fact, it's preferred. we got to reduce it to the negative 5 halves, but we don't have to change it to negative 2 and a half. We want to leave it just like that. So be careful when you put it into my open math. You're going to want to leave it in this form, but you do need to reduce it. All right, so let's look at this last one and let's solve it. All right, so notice again, I've got x's on both sides. Um, I The 12x is the bigger one, so I'm going to move the 9x. I'm going to subtract 9x, and I have to do it to both sides. So negative 9x, negative 9x. So on the left, the 9x's will cancel. I still have a minus 2. On the right, 12x minus 9x is 3x, and I still have that minus 12. Now, the 3x is on the right, but that's okay. I still have a minus 12 out to the side of it that I need to get rid of. So let's add 12 on both sides. On the left, negative 2 and positive 12 add to 10. On the right, the 12s will cancel, and I still have 3x. And lastly, let's divide out the 3 that's still left with our x. So when I do that, I am going to left, be left with another improper fraction, which as we said is perfectly okay. Well, I didn't need to move the 3, but it still means the same thing. So this time, um, 10 over 3 is still the answer because it doesn't reduce. Nothing goes into both of them except 1, and I get 10 thirds as my answer.